Hey everyone, welcome back. So in the last video we got our text into our text area. In this video we want to send the Ajax request. So I'm starting off my dashboard here and we want to send that request whenever this save changes button here is pressed. Now therefore I added this ID modal save and you should do this too because this allows us that we can in our app.js in our JavaScript file here simply target this modal save element here or this element which with the ID and then just add the on click method here with a function and inside this function I want to call the Ajax uh, function of jQuery, the Ajax method jQuery offers us and we have to pass a JavaScript object here and specify several things. Now one of the things is the method which will be post. The next thing is the URL, which is a bit tricky. We haven't created the route yet, but if we create the route and let's say we want to have slash edit as the route, we can't use slash edit here because if we have a look at the browser, we're currently here at slash dashboard. Now, if we enter the slash edit route, what jQuery will do is try to access this route, which does not exist. Therefore, we somehow have to, yeah, we have to find out the root route or the, the route as Laravel would it create for us using this route function. Therefore, I will use a variable here, URL, which I will then set outside of this JavaScript file in the dashboard HTML file, which will give us the route. The next thing we need here is the data which should be passed. This is also a JavaScript object and here I want to pass the body, the body of our post, um, which will be just this value here from the last lecture, but without post body passed into it, of course. And then we will also need a post ID. Now we, all, we don't have that yet. So I will just leave this empty for now. I just give this an empty string, but we will have to do something about this. So that's what we're passing. Then I want to call the done function on this, which receives the message. Inside this done function here, I then just want to output something, let's say message, and then here, just a message property which I will add just for testing purposes when we are handling this route. You will see this in a second. Now there is one critical thing we're missing here. When we're passing the data, we here too have to pass our token, our CSRF token. If we don't do this, we'll get an error. So in order to pass this token, I'll add another property here to the JavaScript object we're passing as data. And this will be called token, just the name of, well, the, this hidden input field we, we were using in a normal form. And the torque token itself will also be a variable I will be setting outside of this file. Let's do this in the dashboard. At the bottom of this file, I'll enter a new script tag here. And inside the script tags here, I want to set a token variable, the token. <laughs> and this will be, like always, session token. So just like we were setting this in forms, I'm here now storing it in a variable so that I can use this variable later in the Ajax call to have the token there too, because we need it. Next variable I need is the URL variable, which will give us the correct route, the correct added route. And here we can use this handy route method of Laravel to just use route, let's name it added, we will create this route in a second, and then we will get a perfectly styled URL which will always lead us there and not go anywhere else. So that's great. Now let's create this route in the app folder under HTTP in the routes file. Here at the bottom, I want to create a new route. So this will be a post route, it should be slash edit. And for now, I'll just add a closure. We'll, read, uh, we'll add the rest of the functionality in a future video. For now, I just want to check that the Ajax call gets there. Therefore, I will get my request here. So this is um, illuminate HTTP request. This object or an instance of this object request. And then I just want to return a JSON object as a response 
which will contain the post body just so that we see that we successfully passed it. Okay, so here I will then return response, just a little helper function we got to create a response or to access the response. JSON, and I want to send a message. We do this with the JSON function here by passing an array into it. So I will create a new array and we fill this array like we would fill a JavaScript object, right? But we're in PHP, we can't directly create a JavaScript object. So we're kind of building it from arrays. So I want to pass simply, I think I'm fetching the body here, right? No message. I want to pass this message property in this JavaScript object we're creating here. So should be message. And this should just be request body. So exactly what we sent into this route. We're now sending it back just so that I see that it's perfectly working and this route receives the data it should receive. Now what this function will do is it will send back a JSON yeah, object, a JSON element, which will look like this. Now let me enter this. Okay, so it will look like this. This is my JSON element. And inside we will have, well, we will have a message property, which will be set to the value of, well, request body. So whatever we get out of this, of accessing this, uh, this, this uh, item in this uh, request collection here, so to say. So this will be returned and we created the route here. We have to give it a name though, because we're accessing it as added at the bottom of our dashboard here, where we're filling our helper variable. So this is the route name added. So we have to use it here too. And we're using it here. And now I think we should be good to go. Let's test this. So I'm just opening my dev tools to see the console and click edit, save changes. And as you can see, we get this a new post message here lining up. Let's try the post by Chris. And we got a post by Chris. Cool, so that is working. We're successfully passing our data into this route. And by the way, if we change it to a new post, anything and save changes, you'll see in the console, this is successfully passed. So now we could theoretically edit the post, but we're still missing the ID, right? We're still missing the ID of the post and we're still missing the logic to edit the post. Regarding the ID, I want to add this in this video. So let's have a look at our dashboard. We're getting the post body here. We should also get the post ID here, maybe in this article class here. We can use the HTML5 data set for this by basically creating custom attributes. We're prefixing, prefixing with data dash, and then we can create whatever attribute name we want. In this case, I will just create post ID and we'll set this equal to late expression here, post ID. So we're getting the post passed. We're cycling through all our posts and each post has an ID. So we have the data and I'm just binding this data to this post ID attribute, which I'm storing in the data set of this article element. This is an HTML5 feature, this data set. So now I have my post ID attached to each article, post article we're outputting here. Therefore I can in my app.js simply fetch it when, well, we click on this edit button. I will first create a variable to store it. I will call it post ID. And at the beginning, it's just, let's say zero. And then in here where I'm getting my post body, I will just duplicate this and set my post ID equal to, now here we're not accessing this first element, this paragraph element, but we stop here at the article. We know this article has the post ID. So I access the data set of this article and here the post ID element or property, which we know we set because we just did this in the dashboard view. So this will be available. So now this will be our post ID 
available in this variable and here therefore we can easily pass it here by just oops we already got it here by just adding this post ID variable here let me make sure that this works by exchanging my request body here we're sending back with JSON to post ID right that's how I had it regarding the casing post ID yes Okay, so let me reload this, click edit, save, post ID 4, edit this, save, post ID 3, looks very good to me. So now we're passing the post ID and the new body in the next video, we'll actually write those changes into our database. See you there, bye.